What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get NVDA, uh, which is a free screen reader. I want to show you guys how to get this installed on a USB thumb drive so that you can hang on your keychain and you can take anywhere with you. This is useful if you uh, work in a place where they don't let you install any screen reader and they're not screen reader friendly or if you want to you know borrow a friend's computer or you're at your school and you want to use a library computer this will basically run on any windows computer whether it's windows 10 8 7 vista xp and before xp i don't think it'd be a good idea to run it so um the first thing you want to have is on your computer you want to have all your configurations everything the way you like if you have anything that you install, like any plugins, make sure you have that all ready and set up on your computer with all. For example, I have Eloquence installed, and um, the reason why I like to have everything already set up is because on a work computer, you're not able to install stuff to your portable copy. So if you have everything installed on your NVDA, on your home computer, when you transfer that over to a portable copy, uh, it'll basically have all your settings and including all your plugins. So if you have Eloquence or any other voices, it'll go with you on your thumb drive. The average NVDA file size uh, for the portable version is less than 200 megabits. So a one gig thumb drive should be more than enough. Um, I say one gig because you never know you know, if, if, you're, if it's going to get any bigger with any updates or just so you can have some playroom with it. Um, I have a one gig thumb drive and it's more than enough for this. So any old thumb drive laying around will do the job. So the first thing you want to do is format your thumb drive if you want it only for NVDA. If you want it to be used for more other things like um, you want to store your files and you also want to store uh, your screen reader, you can do that. But for simplicity, I would recommend using a thumb drive just for NVDA. Um, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to format it. So to format it, let's go to our, uh, let's, let's go find our drive. I'm going to do that. Desktop off. File Explorer window I. State up and tool address colon. Quick up. Desktop creative one drive. Chris, this library is 5 of 10. This DC 4 of 10. This right. DC download. Devices and RAM with NVDA left parent. So I already named mine, so find your drive. I mean, yours may be named different, whatever the case may be. And using the application key, you're going to find format. So context menu. Let's go to format. Properties, rename M. Create, copies, cut, eject, format, dot, 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 A. List, Internet. format, NVDA left parent, D colon, right parent, dialog, start button, alt plus S. Uh, verify that quick format is checked, so go up one arrow. Format options grouping, quick format. Start up format options grouping, quick format checkbox checked, alt plus Q. Make sure that's checked. If it's not checked, it'll take forever. I mean like 15 minutes. And when it's like checked and it's quick format, then it'll take like 10 seconds. So back down arrow until you hear start. Start button alt plus S. Hit spacebar to activate. Stay. Format NVDA left parent D colon. It'll give you an error. Can OK button. Hit OK, so hit space. Step four. Formatting NVDA left parent D colon right parent dialog. This drive is in use dot. Yes button alt plus Y. Format. Formatting NVDA left parent D colon right parent dialog. Format complete dot. OK. Format NVDA left parent D colon right parent dialog. Close button alt plus C. Okay, so that's it. SDC. Now that it's formatted. The reason why I said it was in use was because I was using the portable copy. Um, this is like my third take of this video. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so now that you have everything ready, you have your drive formatted, um, create a folder in your drive. So go ahead and click enter on your empty drive. Tree view. If you have files, make sure, it's in, make sure the NVDA folder is in the root of your drive. Don't bury it into other folders. Make sure it's in the root. So I'm going to create a folder on the root of my drive. Context menu. Prop new sub folder F. NVDA left I'm going to call my NV access. N -V -A -C -C -E -S -S. N -V you can call this whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Now I'm going to start window. NVDA. Now I'm going to actually go into the NVDA menu. I know what we're going to do. So we'll get to the NVDA menu. You're going to hit caps lock. 
Uh, so the caps lock key and the letter N at the same time. NVDA map. This is your NVDA menu. Now you, you what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna go to tools. So down arrow twice. Reference tools new log with speech python com manage create portable copy dot 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 C. Now, if you wanna do this quickly, tool NVDA. If, you, if your memory is not that great, NVDA key. So caps lock N. NVDA menu new C. log V. C for tools and then C for create portable copy. Create portable NVDA dialog to create. Now, when it'll say create NVDA portable copy to create a copy of NVDA, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to hit tab. Browse dot dot dot. Button. You want to hear browse, hit space. Space, browse for folder dialog, select cancel button. Now you want to hit shift tab. OK, but make new folder button, alt folder colon. Select portable directory tree view, Windows That's 8 iOS left button. So you want to select, select uh, it'll say select portable uh, directory. So, you know, down arrow until you find your drive. NVDA left parent D colon right parent collapsed 10 of 10 level 2. Now hit enter on that. Create portable NVDA dialog to create browse dot state browse for um, phone. Don't hit enter on that. If you do, then you're putting it in your root of your drive. Make new folder select portable. So, uh, when you find your drive. Library NVDA left parent D colon. Hit the right arrow. Expanded one items. Now you expanded, and then find the folder. Level two NV access one of one. Create portable NVDA dialog to create a portable. Now that you've selected it. Cancel button. Portable directory colon. Grouping portable directory colon. Browse dot dot dot. Button copy current user configure. Okay, so. Portable. Now you should be in in a random place. Tab until you hear copy current. User configuration. Copy current user configuration checkbox not checked alt plus U. Okay, do not skip this unless you want a clean copy of NVDA on a portable. This means that your Eloquence or any other plugins you have installed will not transfer over. To get this, uh, all these configurations copied over from your current uh, NVDA state, hit on uh, copy current user configuration, hit the space bar. Space checked. Now that, that'll check it. Uh, the next field will be start uh, new portable copy of NVIDIA after creation. Start the new portable copy after creation checkbox not checked alt plus s. Leave that as is because then if it does run it will conflict with your current NVIDIA. Honestly they should have taken that out because why do you need that? I, I just don't know. Okay, so click tab until you hear continue. Continue button alt plus c. There you go, continue. That, requires your attention. that was my phone. Um, click space for continue okay creating portable copy dialog please wait while a portable copy of nvda is created dot so i'm gonna fast forward this um it's gonna take about five minutes and um then we're gonna get to creating a shortcut that'll basically make it easy to open nvda uh upon opening up your drive Success dialog successfully created a portable copy of NVDA at D colon backslash NV access OK button. So that's what you want to hear. Stay NVDA like that. Now, uh, now when you're in the root, find your drive if you closed it. If not, then go to the NV access folder. Tree view items view list NV access one of one. Hit enter on NV access. Items view list braille okay. display drivers not see. There is a lot of stuff in this folder, so that way, so you don't get intimidated by all the stuff. Hit the letter N. You should find NVDA.exe. NVDA.exe 28 of 59. Hit the Applications key. Context menu. Now you're gonna go to Create Shortcut. Properties. Rename. Delete. Create shortcut test. You have to hit the up arrow about twice. I mean, about four times in order to get there. So hit Enter on that. NV access window items view now, list nvda.exe 28 of now it should create a shortcut on the bottom of your drive so just hold N down NVD arrow until i don't know for 10 seconds and then hit up and down arrow so you can verify that you're there nvda.exe dash shortcut 60 of 60. so what i did was i hit up arrow and down arrow again because it wouldn't speak when you hold the down arrow it doesn't speak uh where you stop so up, up arrow and then down arrow will clarify 
that you hear this. NVDA.exe dash shortcut 60 of 60. Now what you want to do is you want to cut that. Context menu. Open O. Prop. Rinet. Delete. Creek. Copy. C. Cut. T. NV access window. Items new. Now, go back to the root of your drive. Items new list. And now you want to deselect the items folder. Items new. And name items not selected. I use that by using escape. So make sure it says not selected. And then paste in the shortcut. NVDA.exe dash shortcut 2 of 2. Now it'll give you the stupid name NVDA.exe. If it doesn't bother your um, OCD, like me, it bothers me to see that dash, dash shortcut thing. So I'm going to rename mine to something like start NVDA. You can name this whatever you want. Context menu. Proper rename M. NVDA left parent D colon right parent win. By using rename, you hit application key and then up arrow twice. And I'm going to name this start NVDA. S C T R T tart. NVDA. And I'm going to hit enter. Start NVDA 2 of 2. So the reason why we did this instead of having to open NV access and hit N is because if you, for example, have somebody cited who is helping you um, with, you know, opening up NVDA, if you have a test proctor or the computer you're using doesn't have narrator or something to open up this folder, because you do need narrator to find the folder in the first place. Uh, if somebody's helping you, you don't have to be like, oh yeah, just go to NV Access and find NVDA.exe because they're not going to do that. They can't see all those stuff and not be freaked out. People get freaked out very easily. So for you and for whoever is opening up the folder for you, or even if you're using, um, if you, even if you're using the native uh, Windows screen reader, which is terrible, um, what you got to do essentially is... is just have this folder you know just have the shortcut on the outside so that it's easy to hunt down because the microsoft uh, screen reader does not have the little press the letter n to find the thing sometimes you know it's not as uh as it's not as smooth the microsoft screen reader so you want to have this shortcut like out in the open on the root of your drive so i'm gonna close my nvda exit nv and i'm gonna open up this nvda to make sure it works so make sure it's selected and hit enter to test it. So it's always good to have this and with this left. setup um, because you you want it to be easy. You don't want to have to go through all those files and find it. Or if you're asking somebody, they're going to get complicated. For simplicity, this is great. And for simplicity as well, I recommend you have a drive spe spe specifically for NVDA. If you have too many files on there and creating the shortcuts, gonna, it, it just makes things more complicated. And not to mention, uh, the more uh, open storage you have. So I have a one gig drive and my file's under 200 megabits. So I have some breathing room for NVDA. I would recommend you use that. So one gig thumb drives on Amazon are dirt cheap, like 10 bucks. And they don't have to be the fastest thing in the world. Just make sure they're from a major name brand. Um, because there's some sketchy uh, drives that they say it's one gig, but it's not one gig. So get a decent one gig drive and uh, put NVDA on there and it should work. Um, and anywhere you go, as long as you have a thumb drive uh, port, a USB port to connect your thumb drive, you can get a screen reader going on there. You do not need administrator privileges, so you don't need to enter a password for anything. Um, you know, you just uh, start the file and that's it. It'll run on a potato if you need to. So if you have a very old computer running Windows XP, it'll work on there. It uh, supports just about every version of Windows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's useful. My goal at one point is to be able to have it where you plug in the thumb drive and automatically uh, NVDA will start up. But that's gonna be a script for the future that I'm working on. If I get it to work, then I will um, make a video about it. But for right now, I have not been able to get it to work. Once I can figure out how to start NVDA uh, upon plugging in a thumb drive, then I will let you guys know. But for now, this is the easiest way I have found to take NVDA everywhere with you. And uh, you can put it on your keychain, and where as long as you don't lose your keys, you have a screen reader. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, just as I enjoyed making it. Comment, rate, subscribe. You know what to do. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. 
Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.